Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the laser tool. Now, this is the box, and you want to open it up. This is what you should get, something like this. You want to open it up. Take the laser out. This is what it look like. Looks like, sorry. And you want to put it in the hole. Now you want to connect it. Now you might be wondering, well, where do you connect it? It tells you all here. First of all, if you look at these wires, they have markings. And if you look up here, the markings are there. And for the ones you need, for example, it says port 3 here, and it says port 5 here, there's port 3 and port 5. Plug them in. That's the wiring. Now we're going to set up the height, which is pretty much calibration ready to go. First of all, you want to get started by turning on your Dubot Magician and connecting it to your computer. Then on your computer, press connect. That light should turn green. Now wait for it to connect and then press home. It may take a little bit of time, but it's just readjusting. There we go. It's finished calibrating. Now you want to go and change the tool to laser. That's what you have to do. And then you want to get started by turning on the laser. Now put it just over the paper, not over the table, because then you're probably going to burn your table. That's the laser. Now you see, there's a little bit of smoke coming off it. I'm going to turn it off, and you see it burned a hole. Now that's an example of pretty good adjustment, and if you can't, if it doesn't come packaged like that by default, um, if you look, it's, there's a knob on the head of the laser that you where you can adjust the sensitivity, and that can be used for, for example, it will focus the light on a, one, a smaller area, which will put more energy, and that will probably get, let it burn. Anyway, I'll try it again. And if you put it higher, it's also going to burn better. Higher or lower? Higher. Then turn it off once you're ready to go. That seems like a pretty good adjustment. Now I'm going to go to laser engraving. Here, press Auto Z. And let it load. There we go. Now we want to import a model. Now I have a variety of models for you. And I will put them in the description below. Look there. I will show you some. Press open. I'm going to go to my path. Hmm. Can't find it. But anyway, you can do any normal photo photo. I'm gonna for example if you find one here. I'm going to do my logo. Press open, and then it will open, and it's right here. I'm going to drag it to the center. Make it a little bit bigger. Hmm.
let's see. We want to adjust the height. Width and height. Let's try 50 and 50. Let's see how big that is. That seems good. Now that's in a good position. Press sync pause. Is that over? I'm going to adjust the paper a little bit. And if you want to, you might as well just tape down your paper. And when you're ready, press start. And we are done. That was our project. It's really cool, isn't it? But it takes a long time. I mean, you gotta wait for it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.